Hey everybody, it's Mike from uh, Brew-Juice.com. Um, tonight, I just wanted to uh, talk from the corner of my brewery over here. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about temp control a little bit, uh, to just show you some equipment that I have. Uh, tonight, right now, it's act actively fermenting up my Irish Red Ale here. Um, and the simple parts of how I control fermentation right now, it's, it's nice and cool in here, uh, in, in the garage. So... I don't have to worry about um, keeping the beer too cool, but the main thing is I got to keep it warm enough. So what I have here taped to the side, you can still use this blue painter's tape. I have one of these firm wrap heaters and it's actually warm to the touch right now. Um, so I just tape that all around different places just to keep it nice and tight against the glass. Um, and then as you come around the other side, what I have over here, so this is the, the temperature probe that comes uh, part of the controller, which I'll show in a second. But what I do is I take a, a face cloth and I fold it over a few times to make like a little insulated pouch. And then it's all taped up against the glass. And I just insert that probe all the way down the bottom so it's snug against the glass. And this does a, a fairly good job actually of keeping track of what the temperature of the fermenter is. And then you can see um, there's some wires in the back. This is the electricity for the firm wrap heater. And then the probe, it all comes into the this control box. So this is a, a Johnson controller unit. It's a digital unit. Um, it heats and it cools, uh, depending on how you set the jumpers inside. You know that might be a topic for another video someday. But uh, what I like to do because it's it's cool enough in the garage is I pitched my yeast two days ago and I, I can set the the uh, the controller to the to the temperature that I want to start at. So for yeast growth, the early phases, I've got it set to like 62, 64 degrees. Uh, tonight I just ramped it up to about 70. So now that the growth phase is done. Um, I'm hoping to get the temperature up a little bit more, get as much attenuation out of it as I can. Um, so all those control, the controls, you've got the cords that come out of it. I've got the firm wrap plugged into the Johnson controller, and the controller is plugged into the wall. Then the whole thing, I'll lift it up and I'll set it down inside this chest freezer, which isn't on, but it, it's insulated and makes for a nice uh, insulation cabinet, if you will, in the winter time. Um, and then once I get it in there, I'll, I'll wrap it in a in a towel just to help keep it insulated so I'm not trying to heat the whole space in the uh, chest freezer just keep the beer wrapped up and I found last year that that worked really well in fact a few times last year I'd actually drop this whole thing inside a uh, Rubbermaid tote with a bunch of towels under it and around it did a fantastic job of fermenting uh, in a cold garage just with that setup so if you're interested in controlling your temperature which you really should be to get you know the best beer possible fermentation is everything in beer uh, you might want to think about investing in controller and a firm wrap and uh, giving it a go. Temperature control is the way to go for all fermentation, whether you're an extract brewer, all grain brewer. Um, focusing on good fermentation is really where good beer comes from. So um, so that's temperature control for me, Mike at BrewDudes.com. Um, we'll, we'll talk to you soon and uh, brew on.